What is up? Today I want to talk about the Universal Data Tool Courseware. It's a new piece of software that will allow us to make lessons, instructions, and courses for uh, uh, labelers of our data set. Um, it works hand in hand with the Universal Data Tool and it's specialized to make the training of these labelers very, very quick. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go through an example course and show how we can train our labelers, get them all uh, labeling very consistently, make sure that they all understand the instructions um, in a very uh, quick way. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna start by clicking on the create a course and um, we just have to upload a UDT data set. So what this uh, data set we're uploading will do is um, uh, uh, kind of allow us to pick out samples to show it to the labelers and, and if there's already annotations in it, it'll use those as solutions to show the labeler. So uh, to get started, I'm just going to download uh, this cat photos data set that's provided right here. Okay, so I've downloaded this data set and uh, I'm just going to drag and drop it into this field right here. Okay, so this is our course edit page. Um, and uh, we already have a course that, that can be run. Um, it's set up with some, some basic defaults. It even imported one of our uh, samples to look at. Um, so I'm just gonna go through the basic setup. So we're gonna call this uh, cat photo labeling training. And then I'm just, uh, I, I am gonna keep this section introduction. I'm only gonna do one section to keep this video short. Um, so in this section, it has some stuff in here. It's just kind of telling us, okay, this is where we tell them about the data set. So um, what I'm gonna do is just type in here uh, the purpose of this data set. Okay, so I've uh, written a little bit about that. So I can put markdown in there, so I could even put images, uh, I could bold text, put definitions for the data set. As you get more complicated data sets, you'll wanna fill that out, but uh, for this example, I'm just gonna type that. Uh, so this next part is a question. Um, and so we can ask the labeler to answer questions to verify their understanding of the text above. So I'm gonna edit this question uh, just to ask a really simple question. Uh, what is this data set for? Actually, these are pretty good. So let's say to, whoops, to make cat memes. So the labeler, when they're doing this, um, they will, if they, if they click the wrong answer, it will uh, tell them it's wrong and pause them for five seconds and they can't move on until they complete this. So this is a great way of just testing their understanding of the data set so far. So here we can see a sample view. Um, this is uh, this this will be useful later. I'm not going to use it uh, right now, but I'll come back to this because we'll want to show somebody what the correct answer is. Um, so I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to add a tester exercise, and then I'm going to select um, this sample for our exercise, and I'm going to click Edit Solution. So in the Edit Solution, I can go ahead and let's say annotate the head of this cat really quickly. Okay, so I've annotated the head of this cat and labeled it a head. I'm now gonna go up here and hit save. Um, and then I can go to my configure test. And I could say, label the head of the cat as shown in the data set view above. And we'll modify that data set view to have the data we have in here. We're gonna say that this is a practice exercise. Um, what that means is that every time a worker submits, they're gonna get feedback instantaneously. Um, so this is good to have in the beginning, and then later on you'll wanna switch it to no to uh, test them a little harder. And we are going to allow a little bit more be, uh, to make this easier. So we're gonna allow a 30% um, pixel uh, 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 inter intersection over union error, um, which is a pretty standard way of measuring uh, error. Um, so now we can, uh, uh, there's, there's two things we, we can do. We could go to preview mode and, and test out this test. We could hit start test and it'll open up the test thing. Okay, so it looks like everything is working. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in to the uh, actual test. So I'm just gonna hit go to course at the top. 
Now, the link that this has given me is the link that we can send to our workforce to uh, to do. So, um, yep, you can just copy that link. It, it'll, it'll work for everybody. And uh, at the very end of the course, it'll ask for their details. So that's how you get their, their details and see who's actually completed it. Um, so uh, now I can do the course. Uh, as expected, if I hit the wrong answer, it's going to say wrong. And then uh, if I hit the right answer, it'll, it'll put a check. Um, I can't move on to the next section or complete the test and submit it until I complete all the exercises. So there's still this exercise, this test that I created. So we'll do that right now. And what I wanna show is that uh, since this is in practice mode, it's gonna give us really helpful errors as we complete this. So I'm gonna do a very rough, very rough <laughs> annotation of this head and we're gonna see what uh, output it shows. Okay, so I've very, very poorly annotated this head and we'll correct this in a moment. But if I hit save, you can see it says the pixels I classified are 49% different than the instructors. Um, you need 70% uh, to perfectly uh, overlap to pass. Uh, and that's because we set a 30% uh, pixel intersection over union error. So I can go ahead and go in and sort of correct this. And so what this does is make sure that your annotators um, are all on the same page with what quality level and how much time they need to spend um, per image to get it right. Um, so 30% pixel intersection over union error is pretty high, so I'm pretty sure this will be good now. And we got sample one is correct, and we can now submit. So after we hit submit, it shows our end of course message, which we could have customized in the past, the previous page. And uh, I can just type in my name, Sevi, and my email, sevi at example.com. That's my real email and then I can hit save my certification. And it has now saved my certification. Um, and so if we go back to that course page um, and I refresh, we can now see we have one passing student and we can see the name and the email for that student. So we can see everyone who um, completed the test. And so that is a universal data tool uh, courseware. Um, it's free to use. You can use it online at universaldatatool.com courses. Um, and hopefully this helps you train your labelers more effectively.